party people. I just got to my post office. I haven't been here in so long and I actually almost forgot the keys, but remembered they were already in my car. I think I have a package here. I got a few comments recently saying they sent me something. So I'm excited to see. And the post office is on the way to Costco, which is what the real plan for today is. My husband Ross quit his job a few months ago to help me out with content full time, which has just been so crazy to think about. Like I can't believe we're just making videos all day together. It's so much fun. So yeah, I'm about to check the mail and then head to Costco. Actually, let me show you my list real quick. It's kind of ridiculous. So I bought these, you know, sticky notes from Erin Condren recently. I love their planners and the aesthetic is just really fun there. And I bought these Star Wars sticky notes, but they're kind of really hard to use because all of this is so dark. And then for the only white space on here, Darth Vader's taking up most of it. So I learned that this here probably wasn't the best purchase. Yeah, there's my list. <laughs> Very beautiful. Now let me go check the mail. I don't know how this happened, but these are the wrong keys. And this leads me to a lot of other questions, like what are those? And where are the keys to my PO box? I hope they're at home. Anyways, time for Costco. We made it, friends. Wow, it's hot outside. My husband sent me on a mission today to get a bunch of like electronics and stuff like that. Like those multi-outlet plugs where you can just plug a bunch of stuff into that one outlet. He also wants to smoke ribs this weekend, so I need to look out for that. I have no idea how to shop for ribs. Okay, we're in. I have no idea where to start. I I found this solid state drive. This was definitely on the list today. Oh, and then here's another one. The first one we looked at was $100. This one's only 65. I think I'll actually pick this one up and if it doesn't work out, I can just come back and return it. Okay, wait, I see some Halloween decorations already. How cute is this? It has this giant haunted house here with all sorts of characters in it. There's like cobwebs on the front. And look at Goofy as a mummy. We want to up the game with our Halloween decorations each year. It is $100, which is kind of a lot for it. I decided to against it because it is a hundred dollars and we're trying to save money oh this is kind of fun they do have some lego sets here today this technic nascar set kind of fun finding like new sets here for the longest time they just had like basic sets and i was just kind of getting bored of it i like these tins like i feel like i could use those for loose leaf tea like i said earlier we're smoking ribs this weekend and costco now sells this giant pack of pilsner so i grabbed some ross also asked me to grab some limes today as well as some ground beef this is our favorite oh it's so good actually never mind on the ribs they're like 80 dollars. we saw something that said the price of meat was going down, but that's not what we're actually seeing on the shelves. So no ribs for us this weekend. I do need to grab two of these though. We're actually almost out of bacon. Num, num, num. More coffee beans. I love this coffee so much. I always like checking out the clothes while I'm here too. Look at these shorts I found, they're $10. I feel like they're perfect for summer and just like for lounging around the house. I don't know which size I would be, like large or medium. So I think I'll just grab both and then return whichever one doesn't fit later. I found these dresses and I think they're really cute and just kind of casual for summer. They have these collars and pockets and they're kind of like this wrinkly fabric. I like the color pink more, but I feel like it's just like not really my color as much. Definitely need to grab some tortillas while I'm here. I also really need to get some snackies. They have this giant box here, 42 bags. Now I'm in line to check out. I think Ross asked me to actually get a pizza while I'm here and I forgot to call ahead. So I might be waiting around a little bit for that to like cook. I have my cart of stuff. I placed an order for pizza. Here it is, a number eight. Eight, five. But we're getting the pizza just to have some easier meals like for dinner tonight so we don't really have to cook and then for lunch tomorrow as well. It's kind of nice though. Tomorrow night we're going out with my friend Jean from Jean's version. So we don't need dinner tomorrow because we're going out for dinner. Finally have the pizza. I have to figure out how to bring everything to the car. Wish me luck. I just loaded everything up. My car is just like full of paper towels and um, well, pizza too. While I was putting my stuff away, I was approached in the parking lot. It was someone doing some fundraiser stuff. I'm not really sure, but it just gives me so much anxiety. I'm alone. I'm kind of in a more secluded area of the Costco parking lot. I just don't like it and I don't mean to be rude to anybody, but I just don't want to be approached, especially when I'm alone and there's not a lot of people around me. Ooh, it's scary to be a girl sometimes. Anyways, now it's time to head home. I am a little bit disappointed about the ribs situation. I really thought we would be grilling ribs this weekend, but ribs were $80. Like what's up with that? So yeah, I guess our weekend has freed up. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go home and talk to Ross about it, I think. I'm home. Now I wanna try on the stuff I got and see how it looks, but also prove to my husband that it's worth Ross that it was worth it. Ross is like in the kitchen breaking stuff. Ross, are these mom shorts? Side note, the kitchen's a mess. I've been sick. But what do we think? The shorts? I actually like them. 
They're kind of cute, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're decent. They're comfy. They're $10 worth of comfy. Yeah, they feel pretty good. This is the medium. I feel good. Okay. I'm going to turn on the dress now. Ross doesn't know I got a dress. Okay, this feels big on me. Is it big, like too big? Or is it big, like cute, slouched, relaxed? I wouldn't say I hate it. I would say it looks like you're wearing a quilt from the 1980s. I'll return it. Okay, I changed back into my normal clothes. I actually really like these shorts. I feel like it's telling that I like put them right back on. They were $10, it's pretty good. Now Ross is cooking us dinner. Wait, are we actually like eating soon? No, I gotta marinate the chicken first. Oh, okay. Like another hour or two, and then I'm gonna cook it on the grill. While Ross is doing that, I'm having a really healthy mid-afternoon snack. Is there protein in eggs? Depends who you talk to, but yes. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's really healthy. This is my marinade. I got some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Worcester. Worcester, yeah. I don't uh, know. Some soy sauce, some lemon juice, olive oil, and then a bunch of minced garlic, thanks to my garlic mincer over here. I hope this is enough, but I'm gonna try to cover every piece of chicken. Just wanna get some flavor in there. I've been introducing Emily to flavor. She comes from a family where um, they don't believe in flavor. And so now we're going to try all sorts of different Thing. Is that right, Ladybird? You love flavor. Yes, you do. Look at that tail. Look at that good tail. The next day. It has been a very busy day. I have no idea where today went. We've been working all day and now it's four. But we're at the Domain in Austin, Texas for a happy hour. I am excited. We're meeting up with my friend Jean and her husband Justin at, what's the place called? The Yard Bar. Yard House. The Yard House. It's where they sell age-appropriate beverages but in, in units of length. So you can get a half yard or a full yard. Yeah, the beer is like a giant stick. It's kind of weird. For Europeans, it's it's equivalent to three feet. But yeah, we're all decked out for date night. I have this blue dress on and Ross is wearing cheeseburgers. Stupid. Do pineapples grow on pine trees? I don't know. Cherries over there. A wild happy hour but we just left we're meeting up with Gene and Justin later at their place to continue the party Mario party <laughs> yeah we're nerds it's fine I finally restocked my soap because for the last like two months I haven't been using any soap so it's gonna be nice to, to use soap again I don't think that's true it's what but yeah we just went to lunch and they have like this whole Spongebob collection which is really fun I didn't get anything from it because it wasn't like super, super colorful. Like I want my bath to look like a unicorn took a dump in the bathtub and the SpongeBob stuff just wasn't giving that. The Krabby Patty one did, but it was like 20 bucks. Yeah, it was like $20, $20 I don't know. $20 bath, could you imagine? Also, we're putting it into Google Maps right now. McDonald's. I need a Grimace shake. I haven't had one yet. I want to try it. I've seen people on TikTok like it's a whole trend that they like try it and then die. But that makes me want to try it more. I don't know. I like I need it. I need to try it. Take me to McDonald's. <gasps> so um, we were at Lush and then we saw like this purple soap. Anyways, it got us thinking. I think we're gonna stop by McDonald's on the way because we want to try the Grimace shake. Do you guys want the Grimace shake? I don't know what that is. It's Grimace's birthday. He has a shake for Grimace's birthday. Sure, get us a small one. Sounds fun. Okay. Wait, wait you guys don't know about the trend? You don't know? You can uh, record my uh, reaction. Hopefully I don't <laughs> Grimace. They're in. I am so excited to share this experience with Jean and Justin. The Grimace shake is such a meme. I don't know, like I just haven't had one yet and I'm so excited. Grimace, Grimace, Grimace. 
Howdy, uh, could I get two of the uh, the Grimace's birthday shake? Oh, actually, could I get three of the Grimace birthday shakes? Grimace, Grimace, Grimace. Apparently it's supposed to taste like blueberry, strawberry, and then milkshake. Oh, so it's healthy. Yes. Thank you. Mission accomplished, fellas. Grimace. <laughs> Grimace. Happy birthday, Grimace. Happy birthday, Grimace. I'm so excited to try this. Happy birthday, Grimace. It just tastes like a fruity milkshake. It's really good. Honestly, it's pretty good. Hello, Ray. You are such a good doggy, huh? You are so good. Hi, everyone. Are we having a good time? Emily's in first place. I'm the winner. Do you see that? I'm winning. That's me. It's been a few days again. Remember when I said earlier that I was feeling a little bit sick, but that I was over it? Turns out I kind of am, but it turned into a sinus infection that I didn't know about until my teeth started hurting. Gross stuff was coming out of my nose. It was pretty nasty. Turns out that I've been dealing with a sinus infection that's been going on for like two weeks now. And of course it happens while I'm feeling super motivated and I wanna make more videos. I get sick and I can't do anything. Like I can barely even look down cause it like hurts to look down cause my nose gets all angry. It just starts throbbing all up in here. But then yesterday I noticed something really weird with my face that I'd never experienced before. This side of my face is pretty much fine. Like there's no real puffiness beyond just like my normal like puffy cheeks. <laughs> but then this side was like actually swollen. And like when I smiled, I noticed like this crease wasn't as prominent on this side and it's starting to go down cause I'm on like meds, but you can still kind of see it. Like it looks a little bit puffier on that side and these are just such weird symptoms like I've never had this my teeth were hurting I was like what is going on turns out I might have allergies we'll see I've never had allergies before so this is all totally new for me I'm kind of like nervous about it like do I have to go get shots every two weeks like I have no idea but uh yeah I guess long story short back to the ribs the ribs did not happen Saturday and Sunday we were really just like chilling I think we had burgers hopefully it is allergies and I can just learn to deal with whatever that means Ugh. So annoying. But while I have been feeling not so hot these past few weeks, I did manage to film a video for my main channel. However, I forgot to do something in that video that I wanted to, which involved opening this giant Lego box. So I figured we could do that now, cause why not? I wanna build it tonight. I feel bad cause in that video, I said that I was gonna open this and then I didn't, but um, Sorry, <laughs> it just totally slipped my mind. Also, do go check out that video if you haven't yet. I've linked it up in the cards. Just another fun home vlog. I painted my Lego city recently and wanted to film it and talk about it. I'm pretty sure that this is the new Peter Pan set, but I'm not sure, but I think it is. We'll see. This is not Peter Pan. Oh, it's the new Lego Friends set. These are cute. It's like a little ski slope kind of thing going on. And then what even is this one? There's no names on the boxes. It's like a ski lodge, it looks like. This is pretty cute. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing tonight now. These look fun. Well, this video definitely didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I was hoping we'd have like a fun little grill sesh or barbecue this weekend, but my stupid sinuses ruined everything. I'm like really upset about it but I am feeling good enough to build some Lego sets. These were sent by the Lego group for review on my Emma Soros channel, so I am excited for that. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be my first ever Emily K upload, so do let me know what you think of this video and the format, cause I'm just trying something new and having fun with it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I just wanted to create content that wasn't strictly Lego, and of course like Lego is a huge part of my life. Obviously I can't like avoid Lego in the content, but I wanted something that wasn't just strictly about building Lego or Lego City or shopping and that kind of stuff. So let me know what you think. Make sure to leave a comment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.